Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Disappearance video. Alright, let's go ahead, let's start the whole new series here based on your brand new suggestions. Thank you so much again for your continued support on this new series. It does look like this is something that y'all are really going to be really interested in, so I'm glad to have been able to introduce it to everyone here and then go over all this information. And yes, looking at the suggestions, they follow the theme that I was asking for. Thank you so much on that, and that is with regards to trying to focus on the more obscure, lesser known disappearances, the mystery surrounding them, and then that way hopefully seeing if there's any way that maybe spreading this information people will in turn learn about it and then maybe there'll be a resolution. Who knows, but that's all just a long shot. In the very sense though at least it is something to help provide more information out there of the more obscure, unknown disappearances. Let's start with this one for example. A pretty tragic case in this case, the disappearance of an elderly woman who went by the name of Thelma Pauline Melton, and you're looking at a picture of her now. So let's go ahead, let's talk about all the information associated with her disappearance, which is quite tragic because after you finish this video, you'll realize, like I did, when I was looking at the information, how if but for maybe just a few minutes, we would have had an answer as to her disappearance and to what happened to her. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about this. This all happened back in September 25th, 1981. So it's been well over 30 years now with regards to this disappearance. And it occurred at a place called the Great Smoky Mountains National Park there in Tennessee. So here's what happened. Um, Thelma Pauline Melton was an elderly lady at the time. She was 58 years old. Just your average um, older woman. She had auburn hair, brown eyes, she had these thick eyeglasses. She was very distinct in terms of, of it seems like a, a creature of habits. Like she always smoked two packs of Virginia Slims per day so that was one thing at least that, that people could count on her. And then another thing as well was the fact that this trail that she took there at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park which you're looking at now she was taking it for a good while like over 20 years in fact so this is something that apparently her and a set of friends would do on a daily basis I don't know exactly where she lived it seemed like the information I was reading made it seem like she lived like at a center of some kind and then her and her friends like maybe like a nursing center or a nursing care home whatever is the case her and her friends or her companions would always do the same routine like they would go up the trail go over the hills who knows? Although there was another little bit that I read that it seemed like there was an air steam trailer that her and her husband also owned that happened to be parked at the National Park. So I kind of got kind of like mishmashed info where did she live there in the center or did she live like or travel around with her husband? Who knows? But the key point is she was definitely someone who took that trail there at the Smoky Mountains National Park on a consistent basis. That's what leads to her disappearance uh, makes it so much more mysterious because here's what occurred. There they were around 4 p.m. or so hiking along that trail, her and her companions, two friends to be specific, when out of the blue, um, uh, melt, uh, what is, uh, Delma decided to actually speed up just a little bit ahead of her friends. So much so that she, whenever they went uh, close to uh, like a hill or some kind of embankment, something where it's definitely like an elevated position, um, Thelma decided to walk over the hill ahead of her friends. Her friends didn't really think much of it. She was just speeding up, I guess, to try to get back to the trailer that her husband was in they just presumed that and so they let her speed up and then she disappeared over that hill and then cut to a few minutes later they in turn reached that same spot went over it but much to her surprise or their surprise they did not see Thelma around that location they didn't see her anywhere um, they presumed at that point that she was mainly maybe just already at the trailer where her husband was but when they went over to it and they checked with her husband he stated that no like there was nobody like a like he didn't see her presence nearby he didn't have her come in or anything like that no one else seemed to see her either for all intents and purposes there was absolutely no sign of Thelma at all that's what makes it so tragic because imagine that 
it was just uh, almost seemed like just minutes when it came to Thelma deciding to speed up for whatever reason go over that hill her friends saw her go over the hill and disappear over it like imagine like seeing her uh, body just go down and down and down until the you outright don't see it anymore over the hill and then they in turn go over it and then she's gone they don't see her at all so what happened to her who knows where did she go who knows nobody seems to have that information to this day and it was just a couple minutes that would have made a huge difference to it they gave it about another hour or so because eventually around 6 p.m. they decided to try to see uh, if they could if they could file a missing report and they did they they contacted the um, park ranger there at that location they told them that that yes they have this friend uh, Thelma who who has has basically disappeared ventured off the path and a search was made to try to find her especially looking for telltale signs like maybe she ventured off into a different area maybe there's something like show Showcasing uh, footprints, anything along those lines, anything that would showcase where she might have been. But no, after a thorough search, there was absolutely nothing that could be found in terms of her going anywhere. It's almost as if like the earth just pretty much swallowed Thelma up completely and she was just absolutely gone. The only hints that people have as to why she disappeared, there were several. Number one was the fact that apparently Thelma was suffering from a little bit of of, of depression at that time because her mother Earlier that uh, a little bit earlier that year passed away and so it's just natural whenever you're the son or daughter and you have something like that happen there's going to be a little bit of depression there was also the notion as crazy as it sounds that that her minister was stating that she was having an affair with somebody either at the center or someone else at another location because that center that I was mentioning earlier Thelma actually volunteered as well and she did so serving meals to a bunch of the senior citizens there. So the idea was that the minister stated that she might have had an affair with somebody at that location. And that might have led to her doing what she did uh, with regards to her disappearance. The only other hint really that ties to it is someone reported that, that, that Thelma made a phone call to someone else, a mysterious person. Like, no one knows, in a sense, like, who this person was. Uh, not necessarily that that's a bad thing, when I say mysterious, but more than I said, they don't know who she contacted. And then that was the day before of her actual disappearance. So that's the only other link tied to it. But yes, that's pretty much all the info that's associated with her disappearance. She literally just left that hill. Uh, friends saw her go, and then that was it. No one saw her afterward uh, with regards to it. By the way, there's nothing else that could point towards her, let's say, driving off, because she was not. She didn't have like car keys at the time, nor did she have any cash, her IDs, or any medications when she disappeared. Everything was 100% accounted for whenever people went looking for those specific reasons. They found everything that they would normally see like that would lead to someone uh, uh, basically disappear but so that makes it even more mysterious she, uh, she she went somewhere or someone took her in either case nobody was able to find her reading all this information it makes me wonder if maybe she just got lost the most natural that's the most natural conclusion that I could come to big uh, national park like that I mean getting lost and then getting further lost trying to go back to where you think you were in the first place one could imagine I mean one reads those stories every now and then where people basically end up dying afterward and when that happens they're like well deep into the forest like so much so lost into it they would never have would have had any chance of finding an escape route or finding something that will link them back to civilization so I could imagine something like this happening along those lines like maybe she decided to take a new venture somewhere else in those few minutes and when she did so so she became lost and then became further lost trying to get back to where she thought she originally was just my own two cents but that's at least the first inclination I can think of because others when I was reading information there was the idea especially with that mysterious phone call that maybe there was some malice or something else some 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 bad things that happened but surely somebody would have seen something no I mean this was a place that 
that that was it was a national park so somebody abducting her out of the blue especially during the day 4 p.m. no less I mean there would have been something seen along those lines but in any case that's all the information associated with the disappearance of Thelma Pauline Melton um, and to this day more than 30 plus years uh, she's still considered missing I haven't I have, as far as the information I saw, I didn't see anything that shows that she's been presumed dead, but who knows, um, that's something else that whatever happens in the future, there may be an update, uh, something big that might happen with her disappearance. So, all right, everybody, thanks again as always, take care.